Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imaginando, and I'm here to give you another tutorial on the RC. Today, I'm going to show you how to make the bass sound from the song Wildfire by Subtract. And since we're only doing one sound, I'm going to try and be a little bit, a little bit more thorough on the description of how to do it. So let's get right into it. And as you can see, we have here an equalizer and the flanger that I'm going to turn off for now. And we have some automation on the cutoff and on the resonance that you can check out afterwards on the session here to see what's going on. So first thing I'm going to do is open the DRC and bring back the default patch. Okay, here we have it, so let's start. And first thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, oscillator one is on one octave, oscillator two is one octave up. Sub noise, I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to raise one octave anyway. And I'm going to start by putting the master at point six, seven, six, four. This basically controls the main master volume. And afterwards, I'm going to raise the pre-gain which is sort of like a preamp on this synthesizer, which you can use it, to, including to saturate the sound and give it a little bit of distortion. So I'm gonna do just that, and I'm gonna raise it to maximum. As you can hear, you can hear some nice saturation going on and distortion. Now I raise the first oscillator to maximum. Okay, second oscillator to about five, five, three, six, like this. And finally, I raise the ring modulation, which is a, um, a waveform sum of both oscillators to maximum. Like this. Now we go to the, this envelope generator to amount controlling the cutoff, and this basically means the amount of modulation that the envelope generator to is going to modulate the, uh, the cutoff frequency through time. So basically what I'm going to do now is bring this to 0.382, drop the cutoff to 0 0.5, and raise the resonance to 0.53. Okay, here we have it. Now we go to the first, uh, sorry, now we go to the modulation page. This modulation page basically controls the cutoff of the filter. And I'm going to raise the keyboard to 0 0.504. This means that the higher the note, the higher the cutoff filter, and the lower the note, the lower the cutoff filter. And I'm going to do the same thing to the velocity, but I'm going to raise it to maximum. This means the higher the velocity, the higher the cutoff, the lower the velocity, the lower the cutoff. Okay. Okay, and so now we go to the first envelope generator. This envelope generator modulates the amplitude of the sound in time. This means that what I'm going to do right now is raise the attack to 0 0.87. This means that the attack will take some time to reach its nominal value on volume. Just a small little bit so it doesn't have a really fast attack. And then I'm going to the decay and I'm going to put it at 0.497. And the decay basically is the time that it takes from for after the attack time reaches its maximum, it's the time that it takes for the sound to drop to the sustain level, which we're gonna define afterwards, and we're gonna define it at 0.172. And finally, the release, the release Uh, sorry, I said um, 172, but it's actually 829, sorry, 0.829 on the sustain. Okay, like this. And finally, the release. The release is the time that it takes the sound to reach 
zero from the sustain level after you, pre you release the key from the keyboard. And that I'm going to put at point 0.126. OK. So now I'm going to the envelope generator 2. Like I said before, the envelope generator 2 is modulating the cutoff, and we have the amount to control it right here. So the attack, decay, sustain, and release have the same behavior as the first envelope generator, but they're controlling the cutoff frequency. So now I'm going to raise the attack to 0 0.061 and the decay to 0.77, the sustain to 172, and the release to 0.426. Okay? Okay, like this. And we should be fine. So now for the effects. I have here an equalizer, which is basically cutting the really sub-sub frequencies of the sound, but at the same time increasing the bass. So much more bassy. And finally, I have here a flanger which basically will flang the sound. It's, the flanger is basically some repetitions really close together, so it gives this ringing, swishy sound on it. Like you can hear it now. And I think we have it here, so I'm just gonna turn on the, the, the automations and just gonna put it here for us, listen. Just bear with me a second, please. Okay, so let's now listen to the melody. This is it. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe Imagine Andus YouTube channel. Don't forget that we have this Ableton session for you to check out and download on the description below. I really hope you have enjoyed this and we will see you again next week, guys. So goodbye. <laughs>